And we are on top of breaking news as more reaction continues to pour in today after last night's debate. 23 ABC's Larissa Wall in the live center with comments just made at defending Mitt Romney's binder phrase. Larissa. Yeah, U.S. Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee was just on CNN. She says the message behind Romney's comment about binders and women was positive. That may not have been my choice of words or your choice of words. The point is this. He made a concerted effort to find qualified women who wanted to submit, wanted to submit their resumes, and were looking for that opportunity. He sought to open the door for women, and then his cabinet had more women than any other gubernatorial cabinet in well, the country. Here's now, if you haven't heard it yet, this is the comment Romney made that has been the talk of the town today, both on and offline. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of, uh, of women. Yes, the phrase binders full of women, women has become a new internet sensation. According to technology website Mashable, the phrase became Google's third trending query for the night after who is winning the debate and live debate. Google Politics said search interest in the word binders increased by 425% and binders full of women also became a trending topic on Twitter and Facebook. Internet memes have also popped up all over the place. Here are a few of them. One of them references uh, dirty dancing. This one is uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton talking about it. And one even made fun of the fact that Governor Romney still uses binders. Now, overall, throughout the 90-minute showdown, 7.2 million tweets were sent, down from the 10.3 million tweets sent during Denver's debate. As of this morning, just a few minutes ago, I checked, Candy Crowley, Binders Full of Women, POTUS, and Obama were still on the Twitter trending list. Reporting in the Live Center, Larissa Wall, 23ABC News.